AITA for not allowing my niece to attend my wedding rehearsal dinner? I'm getting married on August 17th. The wedding is a bit untraditional, but nothing super out of the norm. First, my four-year-old son is walking down the aisle with me. Second, I have two bridesmen standing up on my side. Both bridesmen are my brothers-in-law who I've been close to for a long, long time. Obviously, their wives, my sisters, are also standing up on my side, stick with me, this is important context. One sister is my MOH, let's call her Regina. Regina and her husband's, bridesman, son is my ring bearer. I picked him because he's the only boy in the family apart from my son. They also have a 10-year-old daughter, let's call her Sarah. Sarah is a little sad she isn't in the wedding like her mom, dad, and brother. It's understandable, but she also has four other girl cousins her age who are also not in the wedding that she can hang with on the day of the wedding. Now for the drama. We had a big camping trip this past weekend with a ton of family. It was a super fun weekend. While everyone was starting to pack up to leave and eating breakfast, Regina brought up the rehearsal dinner. She made a comment about kids attending. I said no kids are attending, only those who are in the wedding party so they can rehearse. There is limited space, and I have a lot of nieces and nephews so it wouldn't be fair to allow some to go and others can't. I explained this to Regina. Plus, we have to focus on what it's for. Rehearsing for the ceremony. Regina immediately said, well, what about Sarah? I said I'm sure we can find care for her for a few hours. Regina says, well, I'm not finding a babysitter. I again said, I'm sure we can figure something out. She's 10. She has many neighbor friends she could hang out with or she can spend time with the other family members who will be in town for the wedding. Not a huge deal. Regina absolutely refused any other solution and simply said, well, then I will stay home with Sarah. To which I replied, you're my maid of honor. You can't not go to the rehearsal. By this point, I'm seeing red. She is basically giving me an ultimatum. Sarah goes, or Regina is staying home. I'm getting upset, so I get up from the table and leave. Meanwhile, my other sisters, two other sisters, try to talk sense into Regina remember, one other sister and her husband are also in the wedding party and have two kids, and do not have an issue with their kids not coming to the rehearsal dinner. Things got out of hand quickly. Essentially, the entire family is on my side and have no issues with their kids not coming. They told me to stand my ground, which I planned to anyway. Regina approached me again about 10 minutes later and was basically trying to pressure me into agreeing with her. I offered so many reasonable solutions, which she refused. I even said I'd pay for a sitter if that's really the issue. She said no. I finally asked if it was about the sitter slash money or if it was about Sarah not going in general. She denied it was about Sarah not going. At this point, I'm just dumbfounded. I told her that this is the only pre-wedding event I have planned, I didn't want a bridal shower or bachelorette party, so I don't understand why she has such an issue with finding slash paying for a sitter for 3 to 4 hours. I haven't asked for anything else and have been the most chill bride humanly possible. She said, well, that was your choice, and still refused to accept anything other than allowing Sarah to come to the rehearsal dinner. By the way she is having this argument with me in front of Sarah. At one point she literally said to Sarah, you don't like being babysat by underscore 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 underscore, right? When Sarah suggested a friend who she'd want to hang out with, Regina said, no, I'm not asking her mom. Like what? My other sister, whose husband is one of the bridesmen, popped in and told Regina she is being unreasonable. The conversation ended with me telling her the entire family thinks she is in the wrong here. Regina left without saying goodbye to anyone. Regina and her husband drove to the campsite separately, and he called me on his way home to talk about the situation. Basically, he told me that it is about Sarah being left out. He said that Regina is trying to protect Sarah's feelings, and worries about her feeling left out when her mom, dad, and brother are gone at the rehearsal dinner. Regina did not say this to me one time. She only said it was about money and finding someone to watch Sarah. To be honest, that is still not a good enough reason for me to let Sarah go. What are you teaching your child in that situation? Sometimes your kid is going to be disappointed. That is life. I told her husband that if Regina had approached me privately and said she was worried about this, I would have found a way to make Sarah feel more included. For example, getting her nails done with me or getting ready with the bridal party on the day of the wedding, etc. Honestly, I may have even given in and let Sarah come to the dinner. I told Regina's husband that at this point, there is absolutely zero chance I'm letting Sarah come to the dinner now purely because of how Regina acted and essentially threatening to drop out of the rehearsal and therefore the wedding. It's unacceptable. He said he understands where I'm coming from and is going to talk to Regina. I told him if she doesn't go to the rehearsal dinner because Sarah can't come, then she won't be in the wedding, and that would be relationship ending. I also told him I will not be reaching out to Regina first. This all happened two days ago and I haven't heard from either of them since. So, essentially, AITA for not allowing Sarah to come to the rehearsal dinner? What would you do? My wedding week is five weeks away, and she is supposed to be my MOH. I can't believe this is actually happening to me when I've done everything I can to make this wedding as easy as possible.